So here's another forum response video. The question that's being asked is how do we create such, uh, such an air inlet in, in an airplane cowl? So as a user provided the model down here, I loaded that down and it looks like a T-spline based model. So I'm going to scroll down the timeline and activate the T-spline. And sure enough, it's a T-spline and it's nicely proportioned. I personally don't think we would need that edge, but we'll, uh, we'll leave it there for now. So how would I create this cowl? I would uh, do this directly in the T-spline environment. Well, that's one version, right? That's one way to do this. I'm just going to ex I have deleted those two faces. I'm just going to extrude those out and probably make that feature bigger than I would in reality. So I'll just put that back here. And I'm just going to scale this out a little bit and scale that out a little bit and scale that out a little bit. And say and drop that and extrude that a little bit down and extrude that a little bit backwards and now I shot myself in the foot because I don't really know uh, how far I extruded that the first time so I'm going to just simply insert uh, inspect and uh, section analysis so now I can't see these two faces here. All right, so I'm just going to create a face here. I'm just going to move that back a little bit. And I'm just going to create another face, but oops. I need to go my selection first, another face here to fill this in. And I need an edge loop up here. And then I'm going to pull this down here. And the reason why I need that edge loop so I can connect this this edge here all the way down here. It'll become clearer as I do this. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Okay, so now I have two adjoining uh, vertices here, but I need to weld those together. Modify weld vertices so hopefully they're welded and I need another plane here or another quad and another one from here nope To there and then of course I would end up with a triangle so um, I'm going to insert another point so edge loop insertion in Fusion 360 is still pretty uh, in need of a strong improvement it's about the slowest edge loop uh, Okay, so now I cannot select this edge here. Ah, uh, come on. All right. So here I have my polygon, uh, it's not my polygon, I have my uh, fourth vertex and so now I can uh, simply 
and a quad face here. So I don't end up with any triangles in my design. So I think I'm going to move that edge a little, a little bit higher, maybe here. So if we go back to smooth view mode, let's see what we get. So maybe this is all what's needed. But if we look, I mean, let's let's uh, just finish the form and go into the render environment, see how that looks like. So what I usually do is um, instead of actually, I usually use the what is the regular thing, four by three, no, no. No, no, heck, I don't even know which one is the right one. Uh, let's stick with this one for the moment. And uh, what I usually do is uh, also in the setup, I go to a solid color, turn this all the way to dark. And I probably, if I want to judge surface quality, depending on the object, I often use the sharp highlights and then I use a very dark color. I use black and edit that and increase glossiness or decrease the roughness, so to speak. So when I move this here, I can see these, these lines here flowing across the surface and can see how that behaves. So maybe this is all that is needed, right? But of course, it deviates from the from the picture because that's a pretty big radius. And also, let's go back into the design environment and turn our section analysis back on. If we take a look at the geometry, this is a very sharp corner. So in, in reality, on a real airplane, it wouldn't probably look like that because it's made from sheet metal and that has a pretty defined edge and thickness. Maybe it is, maybe it's a fiberglass part, who, who knows? Anyway, so if we do want more definition there, there's uh, a couple of things that we can do. So if, uh, and I need to go turn my analysis back off, I don't need that. We go back into, oh, into the T-spline. I can insert two edges. Now I said a little while ago that I don't like triangles and I also really don't like n-gons but I tried this before. In this case, that turned out pretty okay. So I'm just gonna insert an edge here and insert another edge here. So back to smooth view mode and we can see, that's not so easy to see in smooth view mode, but if we turn analysis back on, we can see that this, this has gotten more of a thickness, right? It's not this very sharp edge here. And it actually doesn't look too bad there either. And it's such a small surface detail here that uh, surfacing quality here in this area isn't really that much of a concern. So now, if you want to tighten up this corner and make that radius here smaller, you just simply need more detail. And the step that I'm gonna show now is something you should really only do if, if you're happy with the overall shape of your model. Because what we're going to do is, I'm going to go and subdivide the entire model to add more detail. And the default is simple, but set this to exact. And what that does is it sub subdivides it in a way that it maintains the overall shape. So if you would use simple, it sharpens up all corners. And right now that's not what you want. You just want to have more polygons to work with, but maintain the overall sh shape. So window select and it subdivides it once, but you could also specify that here, but once is fine. So now that we have added all this detail, see the main, the shape is still maintained. I'm going to go back into uh, that mode. The shape is still maintained, but yeah, that subdivision has done a number of, on, 
on our polygon um, on our overall structure. So that would need some cleanup. And th this kind of stuff is the reason why I probably would not design this in T-Splan in Fusion Physics. It can be done, obviously, as I'm showing here right now, but it is not ideal. And maybe I should have subdivided this earlier and then added detail. But in general, I would probably use a polygon modeler for this. Uh, my favorite is Blender. So this kind of cleanup will greatly help overall model appearance. So now that I've uh, straightened this out some, You can use the slide edge command. If I maintain, if I manage to pick the right edge here. So slide edge. And move that edge over here. Move those vertices back. So we go to smooth view mode, we can see that. Uh, We've sharpened this up, this this uh, fillet here, quite nicely. We could do something similar here and slide this back up here. That would also mean that we need to clean up this topology here a little bit. Um, that also looks pretty squeezed, but it might be okay. So let's finish the form and go back into our render environment. And let's see how that looks like. And we see some artifacts here. If we move this around, but if we go and increase the display detail control, and you can see that those vanish. They're just display artifacts. So this is one way how to create that sort of a air inlet right with the T-splines in Fusion 360.